Continuing on, this is the family room here. It has the tile floor, kind of a pinkish color. And uh, this is the uh, dining room area. Try to get a little bit better angle there. And uh, this is the kitchen. I've done the measurements. Um, this is where a refrigerator goes. One of the problems is that the air duct is located right there. So um, that's for the furnace. And this is where uh, the refrigerator would go and that's kind of used I guess as a pantry area right now. This is the island. And this is the actual kitchen area right here. The refrigerator, the refrigerator has been placed in the dining area right there. I'm going to come out here. This is where the electrical panel is. It looks like a pad was put in for AC right there. Um, coming alongside the house, there's a there's a fair amount of uh, junk that's alongside the house right here. This is the uh, backyard area. Uh, trampoline is trashed. Have a fair amount of junk here in the backyard that um, needs to be disposed of, and we have the electrical line running uh, right through the tree here. And that's something that certainly is of concern and that we should contact um, Edison about. Um, coming around the back, we do have a broken window on this particular bedroom right here. We're not sure what's going on here, but you can see the drain, this white pipe that runs alongside here is disconnected and the um, washer is discharging right onto the ground right there. So we're not sure where they tried to tie this in. The white pipe goes along the back of the house. And, um, you know, it terminates right here. So honestly don't know what they were trying to do here. This again is the inside the house looking out. This is the dog Oso. Hi Oso! This is the uh, other side of the house right here. Looks like um, there's some water draining right you can see that that's kind of bound right there on the corner there, and it drips down the side. You can see here is the discharge area for the washer that goes to the pipe that runs down the side of the house. There's an AC unit here. It looks like they tried to knock a hole for AC in there. Um, there's a substantial amount of junk in the garage. I'm going to walk you back into the house. Um, we did have some good news in that th this is a closet area right here. There's another closet area right here. This is the uh, closet where the um, water heater goes. It looks like the water heater was built in 2013. It's a GE. And um, the Ameristar by Ameristandard, uh, that's vintage 2009. Uh, the gentleman Charlie from Lennox indicated that we may be able to use this furnace. Um, it is missing a uh, overflow valve right there. You can see it coming out the side. It should be draining outside of the home. Um, 
so that that is a concern um, this is the hall bathroom has a linen closet here it is a one and a half bath here is the tub area right here tile looks to be in pretty good condition fan is running this sink supposedly works I'm going into what should be the master bedroom here and the uh, master bath um, we've been told that the shower does not function that there seems to be a blockage the sink there is no water to it and there's no uh, drain pipe uh, the toilet is a mess and needs to be replaced um, I guess they're painting the walls in here I'm walking back out this is the bedroom that backs up to the backyard there we have a corner bedroom right here Um, there is no light, so I apologize. There's a closet here and a bed. And then this is uh, the brother-in-law's bedroom, I guess. Um, closet in the corner over there, double bed. And so um, that's pretty much tour of the home right there.